Okay, so the square root of 16 plus 25 X can also be written as what? Uh, 16 plus 25 X, everything raised to the power half. And then this can be simplified further to what? To, we can uh, factorize, um, we can factorize 16. So in factorize 16, what are we going to have? We're going to have, um, yeah, so when you factorize 16, we're going to have uh, 16 outside open brackets, one plus 25 over 16 X. And um, we have something like that. The same process, the same procedure I took last time. So from there, we're going to get something like this. Simplifying this further, we have um, 16 to the power half in open brackets, one plus 25 over 16 X to the power half. So this to the power half is just the same as the square root of 16, which will give you what? Four, and then four times the expansion of this 25 over 16 X to the power half. So the value of n is this, the value of a is this part. So you can expand this using the, uh, using the extension. The same applies to the other question there, which, for, which is part C. So part C, you also do the same. So the square root, I mean, the fourth root of 16 minus four X is simply just the same as 16 minus four X to the power what? one over four. So um, this part can be simplified by factorizing 16 so that we get one minus four over 16 X, close the brackets. And then in square brackets, we have this to the power one over four. Then simplifying that further, we're going to get um, the, uh, the fourth root of 16. So we're going to have 16 over one over four. Then open brackets, we have one minus, Four over 16 can also be written as what? One over four, when you simplify that further. 0.24, one, 0.2, 16, four. Then we have X, close the brackets, one over four. So the fourth root of, uh, the fourth root of 16 gives us what? Two. So this is two, and then open brackets, one uh, minus. So we have one minus, one over four X, close the brackets, one over four. So expanding this using the extension is very simple and straightforward. Remember the extension is simply just one plus uh, A to the power N is equal to one plus A N plus uh, N, N minus one N, oh, sorry, it's supposed to be X here, uh, rather A. So we have a squared over two factorial, then it continues to go like that. All right, so let's quickly proceed to the other question. So let us now apply the same things that I've taught you here to find the, I mean, to, to, to find the powers of um, questions like this. So how do you solve a question when it is like this? They ask you to say find the square root of um, find the square root of 1.01 to the power negative two. So these are some of the questions that are very simple and very straightforward. So I'll start with this one. I'll also do the same. I'll start with the simplest, and then I'll continue uh, going like that. So I'll start with this one here, 1.01. So how do you find the square root of 1.01? To the power negative two. Oh, sorry, not the square root. How do you find 1.1, 1.01 to the power negative two? Very simple. Um, what you simply just have to do is you have that question there. So we have 1.01. So I'm going to say this 1.01, um, this 1.01. I will equate this to what? Okay, let me do this. I want to show you the simplest method that uh, so that you shouldn't be getting these questions wrong. So this 1.01 can also be written as what? One plus 0 
And so this 1.01, so when you add this plus that, you still, you get that. So when we raise the, when we raise this to the power negative two, so that's the same as raising this to the power what? Negative two. And um, the question is saying, use an appropriate binomial expansion to approximate the value of each of the following. So now we're going to expand this expression using the extension. And we're, we're not going to have a lot of terms, we just go up to maybe the third or the fourth term. So expanding this is going to be like this. So in this expansion, where we were putting X on the extension, we're going to be putting this. Then we have negative two, that's the power of N. So the first term is always what? One. The second term is what? Uh, the second term is um, 0 0.01 times what? The power, which is the value of N. The third term is uh, 0 0.01, oh, let me do this, let me start with n. We have negative two as n, negative two minus two, oh, sorry, minus one. And then we have 0 0.01 to the power what? To the power two, and then everything over two factorial. So if you want, you can even go up to the fourth term, even up to the fifth term, but that is going to, that will, that will just consume your time. But the way binomial is, the more you increase the number of terms, the more accurate you get, uh, the, the more accurate you get, yeah. Yeah, something like that. All right, so we have this one, and then when you multiply these two, you're going to get negative 0 0.02. And then here, these two and that two cancel then you, you're going to have negative three here times negative one, you get, um, so negative three times negative one, you get positive, um, uh, positive three. Then here, 0 0.01 to the power two is going to give us zero point. Um, so we're saying 0 0.01 times what? Uh, times 0 0.01. So multiplying these two numbers, you just count the number of decimal uh, places you have. Here we have two, there are two, meaning we have four. So we're going to have zero point, um, um, okay, we have a one there. Then the point is uh, somewhere there. So we move four times going this side. We have one, two, three, four. So the point is going to be there. So we put zeros there. Yeah, so we have 0 0.0001. So we have 0 0.0001 then close the brackets, then everything over what? Three times two times, oh, is it? Oh, no, we canceled this with that. So there's no need of us putting the factorial thing. So we have that as our solution, then plus dot, dot, dot. So here is just a matter of adding, we have one minus 0 0.02, so that will give you 0 point, uh, 0 0.98. Then when you add it to this, when you multiply it, when you multiply this and that, you get 0 0.0003. So you add that to 0 0.0003. So you get your answer to be 0. Um, you get your answer to be 0 0.9803. So this is the approximate solution to um, to 1.01 .01 to the power negative two. Yeah, I think you guys, I think it's already time up. I think what I'm going to do is um, because the other questions that are remaining are also just the applications of the extension. And since I've explained at least how to use the extension, and I believe you know how to apply it, how to use it, what I'm just going to do is to make the tutorial videos for the other remaining questions. Yeah, so that the next session, the next session we're going to have, we will not have to do binomial, but we'll start another topic. And so for binomial, I don't think you still have questions that you can fail to solve on the extension because the remaining questions, in case you are doubting or in case you think maybe one of the questions are going to be hard for you to solve, I'll make two videos and send them to the group tomorrow. 
So don't don't worry about the other questions. What was um, uh, I mean? The most important part was uh, for you guys to know the concept and how to um, and how to apply the extension. Yeah. So this time, it's already twenty hours. I'm supposed to start teaching the Mulungosh University student statics, the engineers. All right. See you in the next session. I will send the tutorial videos tomorrow so that you can have a look at the solutions of these other remaining questions.